completely different for each team. I have to say, I'm loving Team Secret as they were talking about the analysts as they could potentially switch up their draft. The Fissure will fly out as well, but doesn't block. But that's not a bad thing because Zhao is coming in from behind and they might have more support. Yup, it's Samal rotating up. Zai could be in trouble. Surges away. The Lightning not going to stop him. In fact, Koro turns with the Iron Shell into Samal with the follow charters and the stuns. S4 trying to buy some space. Last Wrecker Ray splits the heroes in two, but doesn't hit either of them, allowing Samal to get the first hit. And Zai has to chase him down. Is there enough damage with Fian now turning on S4? Last Wrecker Green. Here comes Kayari, Universe. The universe is oh, he's killing him. Him. Darkseer now into the snowball on top of S4, but Arteezy, he's still here. He's so low that S4 down for the count. Now he's low, but this means Arteezy can really set the mop up. He's hit level six. He's got rupture available. He's killing a Bowie 2000. One attack, and that should be all it really takes. More support. Universe going. Puppy. He's on the high ground. Hits the Illuminate. Universe trying to run back in the same jungle entirely and it's also forcing him to miss a couple of CS against the tower. Uh, here comes your uh, snowball in, they're chasing after Kuro, the shots at Walker in, but the Fissure does, Zai can't come in and also the support from Keeper of the Line isn't really there. Maybe he can move up further, Puppy, he's got blood and light of Alba, Kuro, oh, he's actually out gonna get the out. The Mana Void will end up cancelling it off, the Blood Rite has also arrived, PPD, Arteez in the middle of the fight, able to find a pick off on him. Meanwhile, back in the river, it's some mail on S4. The Laguna Blade, there's no manner available for him. S4 with his point up in Fiery Soul. There's the damage there. Light Striker Ray, he's got him! 114 life. Puppy will be able to sit there and watch it all happen. And even even pulling back to the front. can kill it. PP does, PP doesn't actually have mana to throw out a Fissure. He's sitting in the back lines almost as an intimidation factor. Once the Sol Ring goes, he will have Fissure. But when you have Arteezy drag on top, the blind line pulling him back. Owie, finger of death still on cooldown for two more seconds. The Yule set for him up and S4. Bond lines right right. And the light right is down. Thunder God's right. That's a great back in. Will Samal have enough damage on the side? There's Fear with a double kill. Making the most mana void. But it's a BKB on the Bloodseeker. He's free to move where he wants, so Arteezy will take a double kill as well. Retreating away, the Shards try and lock him in. It nice does find Arteezy, and with that sigil behind him, he can't run quickly. Now they snowball after him. The Blood Ride is up, and a Samalan Universe going on him with a finger of death. The damage is enough, and Zumail will take the kill. A big one, a large amount of money for him. And now you see the coming down to defend the bottom well, lane of the Observer Ward. Area. There is a Sentry Ward down, however, so if Secret walk over over there, they can get rid of that Ob Squad, but for now, it's doing the job for EG. They can see what's coming in from behind them, and PPD hanging in the trees. Kuro's walking in, Song of the Siren is available, but in comes Fear, and they've got Puppy dead to rights before it even starts. Thunder God's Wrath gives him vision, and the Yule from S4 will save him, but in comes the Snowball. Kuro has to slow this down, but the Sigil is up, and this is making it very difficult for S4 to get himself away. They just try and walk it off with Kuro, but now Aoi jumps in. Finger of Death is up. They're gonna take one. They're probably gonna take two. It's a double kill for the enemy. Major Koro, bigger of death, they find the kill. EG, momentum has been gained. And secret. And, well, he has that blood rage on himself. You know, that, that's going to be bringing him below half HP. Oh, they're fighting Puppy. He's bringing in more support. He gets attacked, but Arteezy will be able to arrive. Puppy low, and they turn, turn on the song of the siren. It's wasting the BKB of Bloodseeker, though, but will it really matter? Back back into another blood ride. The big silence, Owie. He's got nothing more to give. In fact, it's a double kill for Arteezy. Yeah, with a clean. How much damage he's to Fisher? Boy. One of the time, and there's your mana boy. A double kill for him. The bloody light pushing him back. Koro keeping out the tree lines. Can they hit him? You bet you're not. He can triple kill on the ice shot, oh, blocking puppy. a puppy. He'll go down. The damage, the damage is there. Oh, oh true oh, kill to Fia. And they'll take the tier two tower, which is already entered on the bottom. And from doing Roshan. All Team Seagram can really do is just try and split push, which you can already see Arlena's doing up there in the top lane. He's uh, also looking to be able to finish up that BKB, which is kind of a necessity, but at the same time, the BKB is not going to stop the Abyssal Blade Manta of the enemy. She blinks on S4, Abyssal's up, and then right clicks him down with the Manta Illusions and potentially a Bash proc. He may never be able to use the self Yule Scepter. I love the defensive major from EG. You throw out Fisher blocks, you ensure every single illusion of Naga's not there. Top lane, Aoi, jumping on S4 with a finger of death, the snowball right after it. Two quick kills on the cause of Team Secret. Right up, you've just picked up an Aegis. Just jumps in for the tower, stunned up. Again, the what mana leak on the poppy from the Lotus Orb. Fury backing up in universe, the front lines, and there's your jumping from Aoi. They found oh, nice. the song of the siren. siren. There's three of them together. Watch Arteezy. for the silence vacuum. Well, there's no right available for him. The Rob just the mouth back, and there it is. Oh, yeah. With the Illuminate. Three heroes down for EG. One of them be reincarnated. And
And there's the enemies, they're waiting for oh, no. him, and he blinks away in time. Zaya's chasing Samal into the tree lines, while Fear has basically left him to die. One lining ball of Babel, Zaya pretty damn low. Thunder God's Wrath on cooldown, the Blood Ride's gonna go, he's just being mana leaked out. Samal's got nothing more to give apart from his life. Too secret. Maybe the support from Fear, Fear. he in. runs in for the Yule Set, the control, Lion Strike, Array, but PPD! The Echo Slam and the Fissure Control, S4 getting stunned on the Blightline, almost pushing Fear out, but he is pulled back in again. Oh, PPD no. will drop, Fear has no mana, he's on the run out of here. Zai right behind him, he has enough for one blink. And thing as well for EG is the fact that Secret, well, okay, maybe this is bigger, big trouble. If Fear can be controlled, there goes your man, oh, oh, and he has oh, to get the kill. Yeah. 95 seconds out on the sideline. And it was and that's why we saw like a lot of Bloodseeker Zeus at one point in time, but do not underestimate Bloodseeker Lina, the pure damage upgrade, and now he's gonna fight a pick off a PPD. Ooh, nice snowball save. Yeah, they can keep him alive for a little bit longer, blink up PPD, just going to the attack, but they've got that over on Universe and Samal. How much damage can he do? Not a lot, especially when he gets him stared up. Uh, teasing on the face, the Fisher won't affect him while he's in BKB, and Samal so low, he finds the kill. This is big for Secret, they might be on the rampage. Secret simply outplaying Evil Geniuses every step of the way as we approach this 40 minute marker. Now they're going to be able to force buybacks by pushing uphill. That they will. They had a huge advantage and they're starting to rebuild it in just the last three minutes. They've repaired 10,000 worth of experience deficit. And now it's not easy. He's the one protected by the Lotus Orb. They bring down the tier 3 tower and they've got fear. He's in trouble. Keep it in for the sun. He's giving him that universe. They you push him up. They lock him out. Universe is in, popping Zai up in the air, and Koro stops the fun, holds the fun, with the song of the siren, they're waiting to come back in, they're up on the micro with Fear Light, Ray, and they got him, he's down, 106 seconds, Universe in trouble, this could be it, Zai being stunned up, they need more control, they need more damage, EG's backing up, they need more people, they've only got two players alive, not a single buyback is available for any of the players who are currently dead, and this will be at least mid Rax cap. This is going to be mid Rax and you Usually, I think this is absolutely two lanes of racks, potentially even mega creeps here. 80 seconds on the clock for an anti-mage. Evil Genius to somehow to have to fight around the Zeus spam in order to push Team Secret back. And it is going to be one hell of an effort if EG can do it. There's your Thunder God's Wrath. Refresh from the level. Open number two. And that's Bloodseeker down. S4, not in a healthy position either. BKB is protecting him, but they have to retreat out. The buyback comes in from Arteezy. They're going for round two with PPD. Up in the air. He gets the extra slam on Arteezy, but it will not save his life. No buyback. EG! Seeker will take the victory. Denying EG another ESL1 title. And taking another big victory for Team Secret on land. And the crowd going absolutely wild that a team secret win. Just as we thought, Evil Geniuses were going to be able to push this to a game number five. Team Secret show through and through. They are the better team. And now, really, it's that time. Team Secret, enjoy your moment and greet your crowd here.